Yo, what's going on, boys? It's Shane from Rockproud Sound, and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're gonna be creating this getter harmonic type growl, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So actually, Rocket Powered Sound, we need some employees. So if you feel like you are qualified in either sound design or some marketing and management, then go ahead and click the link at the top of the description and that's gonna take you straight to the application. It doesn't matter what age you are, we really just need to recruit some people for the team. And I'll get back to you within 48 hours if you pique my interest, which you probably will. I feel like my fans got quite a bit going for them. But anyways, submit that if you're interested. Um, it's gonna be not necessarily a full-time job for now, but it's gonna be like a part-time, all that good stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. In this tutorial, we have a lot of new techniques and the sound does sound like it's passing through an E minor chord. <laughs> Pretty interesting, right? So we're gonna start off by initializing the patch. Now oscillator A is gonna be our signal for the frequency modulation. Um, actually, if you guys noticed, in my last couple tutorials, I've been using sync and frequency modulation. Now, um, there is a pattern in this. By adjusting the sync to a certain tone, we do kind of receive a, um, a harmonic bass, depending on where the sync is placed, necessarily. And uh, we will kind of receive like a chord sound for the for this particular bass. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go into the spectrals and click Monster Four. Okay, oscillator B is going to be a analog BD sine, you know, just a normal sine waveform. And since oscillator A is our signal, we're just gonna turn that down, and we're gonna start running the frequency modulation off of A from oscillator B. So we're gonna turn up our frequency modulation to about 58 percent, you know, 60 somewhere around here. <laughs> And we're gonna drop this octave down one. Okay, so we're gonna start off by getting a little bit of modulation in the waveform. So I'm just gonna dump this down, get a little bit of negative correlation on the wave tool position. Oof, that does not sound too good. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of create this little shape right here. This is what I had going on before. You could do whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. Turn on trigger one fourth. That's good. All right. So now, as I was mentioning before, the sync, the sync is really the pattern that I'm going for for this kind of week's tutorial, or you know, the week before. Um, as we kind of move the sync up, we see in the little window of the uh, of the waveform, we just keep seeing more and more cycles, and the more cycles the higher the pitch or the higher the hertz you know of the of the sound so we, we just kind of move it up till we get let's go ahead and drop this on here now it really at this point it's just kind of finding that sweet spot as to where we get the clashing of the of the different sounds but anyways um, we can leave this at around here for now and we can go back and tweak that later to whatever we feel like so into the filter um, high pass 24 high passes are always perfect for growls because as we cut out the low end we can turn up the resonance and that'll give us like a talking sound so okay not that much okay we're gonna turn this down turn up the drive Okay, okay. Now our sound is really starting to come together. So hybrid dimension, this part's pretty self-explanatory. Just turn on that mix a little bit. And size, we just want a little bit of size in the mix. Now this next part is really going to knock your socks off. We're gonna turn on our flanger and turn that rate all the way down and just kind of drop this depth down to here. And we're gonna get this tone. And this is really what's going to set the tone for our um, part of our harmonic sound. So we're going to just kind of modulate this. That sounds pretty interesting, right? So into the phaser, uh, turn on that rate, stick down that depth, and then just a little bit of frequency. And see, 
Do you hear that extra low tone? It almost sounds like a sine waveform. Um, we kind of want, we don't want too much of that. We're just going to go ahead and turn down that mix. Okie dokie. All right, on to the compressor. We're going to turn on the compressor and make sure multi band is selected. Turn up that gain. And we're really starting to make our progress here. We can go back into the sync. Maybe uh, just this. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get into our filter. As you guys know from my previous tutorials, what we've done with the EQ is we've made two little peaks here um, with our Q factor up to this middle, or no, our, uh, yeah, like our our shape. I'm sorry, I just had a loss for words right there. But we had a, our two frequencies here going and not quite clashing each other, but um, going towards each other. And that motion does kind of create a vowel sound. But actually, I feel so stupid for just remembering this, the PP. Yes, the PP, the PP filter into the multis. Um, this is actually doing the same exact thing, but except we're doing it in a filter, so we have a freed up EQ. So <clears throat> whether you need the EQ for this and then you need a filter for something else or you need it vice versa, you can go ahead and do whatever your heart desires. So into the filter, we're gonna be using the filter today so you guys know the correct settings. So I put the cutoff to about right here, 100, and 35 hertz somewhere around there maybe a little bit more and then just turn on that so turn up the resonance resonance about right there okie okay, now we're really starting to hear it turn on maybe just a little bit of drive turn on the frequency maybe go up here it's a little bit too much so you guys hear what i'm saying that sounds really awesome so go ahead and drop that like and drop the subscribe button if you haven't already so that's it for this tutorial if you guys want to apply for rock powered sound because we are looking for actually i should just say me i am because it really is just me right now but it's going to be we soon as soon as you guys send in those applications I really want to see what you guys have to offer, so go ahead and do that. I'm Shane from Rock Proud Sound, and I'm checking out.